Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use SurveyMonkey to design and customize tailored and professional surveys to collect and analyze data for your own business. So let's see how. First you need to create your own account from here. However, I'm just, I'm just going to log in my account. Now I will use Google. So this is how SurveyMonkey looks like. You have uh, more than an option to start your survey. You can start it from scratch. You can use a template or you can use AI. So in this tutorial, we will use this from scratch and we will also create one from template. So starting from scratch here, you can write the name of your tutorial of your survey and you can also choose the category of your own survey. So let's, for example, choose um, quiz and let's press on create survey so this is your builder you can create your own survey from here here you can add a logo here you can add a page title in case your survey is going to be more than one page and here you can insert your questions you can also choose the type of question from here so since this is a quiz, it will be sensible if you used multiple choice and check boxes. So let's choose each one of them. For example, I will write a question. Do you like this tutorial? And I will insert my answers here. Yes. No. I'm not sure. Sorry. And now let's make the third question. The third answer, I don't know. For example. Now you can also set points to each question. So let's say this is a quiz and this is not like... This is actually like um, a question which requires marks then you can set points to each question, to each answer. So let's say this is the correct answer, for example. You can set two points on it. And this is neither right nor wrong. You can set one or two, one, for example. And this is wrong, so you can set it as zero, or you can also... No, there is no negative. You can set it as zero only. So this is the first question. You can also add none of the above here. And you can also set the text the way you want, and you can set the points as well. You can also mark it as a correct answer. Now let's just leave this, and let's save this question. Now you can insert another question here. Let's choose, for example, um, check boxes. Let's say is what is the state of ice and we can insert three answers solid liquid gas so it's obviously um, solid so we will just insert this as one and insert both of these or as zero and now let's save then let's move on to the next step. But before moving to the next step, let's explore this left navigation panel. Here is the builder, which contains all the types of questions, the same as th the one accessed from each question. Here you can set the style, you can change the theme, for example. In options. You can add any of these elements or just remove it by clicking on it and it will be disabled so you can add an exit link by just enabling this bar you can enable or disable any of these properties here you have the question bank so basically you can access on recommended questions for example you can add, insert any type of preset questions from here 
and in format you can decide whether your form is classic or it's just one question per page or conversation and you can also print it once you are done you can move to preview and score where you can test your own form or your own quiz so let's say if you're, for example yes and I choose solid then I press done and here is my result now let's move on to the next step here collect responses here you can choose whether you want to send your survey by email or to specific people through your website or you can leave survey monkey to send it to you and in analyze results you can see the results that has been that have been submitted since we do not have any responses yet you can also uh, access on insights and data trends and individual responses and here you can present results in the form of a presentation or um, an insight or a dashboard so this is basically how it works now let's move on to uh, the next type let's press on home to go back and press on create survey so let's choose to or let's go back again let's just remove this tutorial so that we can access on the same exact window as before let's delete this delete and here you have the three options again so if you chose to uh, start a survey from a template by clicking on this here you can see that it's exactly the same um, builder however it contains some sample questions through which you can choose from so here for example this is a multi multiple choice question here is a checkbox question and here is a text question so you can edit on any of these by clicking on edit and if you are not in need for this type you can just delete it from here so before ending this tutorial I would like to say something final let's just go back to our home page and let's delete this So if you chose to start from scratch here, you will find multiple type of surveys. You can start um, a feedback survey, you can start a quiz, you can start a form or application, vote or poll, and all of these will have the same exact builder and the same type of questions. So it's, it's on you to choose the type of questions which are suitable to your own survey. So if I chose, for example, form or application, and I just named it anything, and pressed on create here you will find that here you can access on the same exact type of questions so there is no difference however you are the person who chooses the type of questions that are most suitable to the type of survey that you choose and this is how you can easily create your own customized surveys with SurveyMonkey so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you like this video press on like then subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos until then take care and goodbye